wine honey. That was really good, yeah? That's <laughs> not that, me. <laughs> yeah, I've just been speaking to Tekla about our time here and how we really, really don't want to leave. But I think the point thing is, is that there's time for everything. And we've done our job here. And our job at home is awaiting and we need to get back fast. There's so much need here and our job to just raise awareness and make it so much more than just a wall that's going on here and just let people know the amazing stuff that's going on and just that we just need to do more. Okay, um, it's just been the most incredible experience. Um, I had the most amazing time, but it's so cliche to put it so true. Um, I think my main, my main thing was um, talking to a partner yesterday and I asked him what message um, he had for, for the people of England. Um, and he said, one, thank you so much um, for supporting them. Two, can you please continue supporting us? Because, you know, without, without Christian Aid, um, they wouldn't be doing the work they'd be doing. And thirdly, don't forget us. And I think that's just sums up everything. I'm never, ever going to forget this trip. And um, I don't think anybody else will. Um, and I just want to explain to the people of the UK um, how amazing this country is. Oh, I just can't believe we've come to the end now. It's been a fantastic experience. I was, uh, I was really worried, like, because this was my first time in Africa. But I just don't want to, don't want to leave now. I just, but we just met some amazing people, like very inspiring people. And I just hope I can uh, do what I've experienced justice when I finally get back to, back, get back to England and start working again for Christian Aid back in Yorkshire. But no, I feel sad to leave, but. In a way, I feel it's given me loads of impetus for going back now to England. Uh, emotional, draining, exciting, fantastic, brilliant, beautiful, all the words I can use to describe Congo. Um, anyone that says that Christian nations are like um, wasting money coming here, it's been two of the best weeks possibly of my like working career. Um, and they say that once you go to Congo, you do come back. I definitely plan to. The people here are amazing and they should be heard. We've just finished the photo exhibition and it's just been the best end to a fabulous trip. It's been a once in a lifetime amazing experience and I would not trade it for anything else in the world. So yeah, it's last day, get made, leave for the airport. Um, really don't want to go but at the same time can't wait to get home and tell people all about it. It's just been the most amazing experience. Um, yeah, there's been highs, lows, it's been really emotional. Um, I don't really know what to say at the minute, I'm still trying to gather all my thoughts together but yeah, it's been really great and I'll always remember it and it's been a great group of people and yeah. It's made me just really think that I'm going to take back the hope of this place and the potential and I was already motivated before to, um, to do what I can but even more so now and um, it's, I, I feel like I've, I know what I'm talking about now and I, I know what I'm doing. The DRC for me has been so awesome. I didn't know what to make of it before I came. People would tell, say to me, ah, oh, technical goes to the DRC, are you excited? But I didn't know exactly what to say because the media coverage of the DRC has been, I don't know, well, mostly negative. But coming here, you experience the side of the DRC that only coming here can show you. I mean, I know that I won't go back, I won't, won't go back the same. I'm forever changed. And this isn't the way that I wanted to leave, but I'm glad that I'm leaving this way. It's like, I don't think I'll ever forget the DRC and I hope this won't be the last time I'll be here. For me, it's just been an awesome time and it will stick with me forever. I'd just like to say that it seems incredible how in uh, less than a fortnight we've seen so much of the country and met so many wonderful people and uh, discovered there are so many issues here, so many problems but also so much hope in what people are doing here, how hard people are working and how Christian Aid partners are helping them to uh, make the most of their potential and I really hope that on our return to the UK we can do all we can to support the partners who are at work here because they're doing so much good but every single time I've met them they've said thank you for your help but if we had this or if we had that we could help so many more people so uh, I hope I can repay their hospitality by uh, raising awareness among people in the UK and uh, gaining more support for them. As a whole I found it a really challenging but exciting experience. I definitely want to come back here um, to do more work closely with the partners and things like that. I mean, but if I can't, I mean, I will take every everything that I've seen. The sheer injustice in this country, the poverty, the pure hope of the people, 
um, the, the, the pureness of faith here as well is just totally inspiring and I'm going to take that back and try and communicate it as best I can to um, give people you know, a real sense of what this country is like and um, a thirst for change and a desire to kind of go forward and use their power as citizens in our country to kind of change the world for the better for these people as well as you know other people around the world. See you later everybody, it's been good having you here but uh, not a little bit relieved perhaps so I've got a little bit of time to do other stuff now but thanks very much for coming it's been good and I hope you can take everything you know back and just talk about DLC as much as possible and to work Christian as much. Thanks very much. Uh, I greet everybody in UK May God bless you in Jesus' name. Really, I think that God is really good. He's, he is wonderful for you and for me. God bless you.